What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So, this is not clickbait, as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail of the video. This is something serious that's going on right now. I'm going to let Janice explain as to how this came about and how this is a thought at the moment but babe go ahead take it away so as you all know i have endometriosis if you don't know that endometriosis is a very complicated condition to explain it in very short terms i basically have multiple cysts that are filled with tissue that are attached to my cervix and my ovaries and they're growing constantly leaking lesions things like that and along with that it can cause a lot of issues with you know your menstrual cycle as well well as how able you are to have children I actually have a genuine question mm -hmm. so your birth control that's what they prescribed you for your endometriosis mm -hmm. to help yeah now what does exactly the birth control do to your endometriosis does it break down the cyst does it freeze them from growing and what what goes on with the birth control and how it reacts okay to the cyst? so the whole point of the birth control is basically to stop the reproduction of the cyst and the constant growing and it's supposed to actually minimize the cyst I, I kept getting lesions and I'm constantly in a lot of pain which leads me to why we're making this video so I recently had an appointment with my gynecologist and I was having a lot of pain a lot of pain more than normal and they ended up putting me on a different kind of birth control which is called Kelnor and it basically uh, shuts down my system I'm not producing any eggs I'm not doing anything everything's just in the dormant phase right now so I can have kids right now if I wanted to just because obviously I'm on birth control but that's with any of them but there's a twist and that's why this video is being made so you want to tell them exactly like what happened last time you went recently to your doctor's appointment where you guys got into the conversation about kids that leads me into the conversation basically that I had with my gynecologist I had a few curiosities as to a pregnancy she did mention to me that first off um, I cannot get surgery and I thought that I was going into like getting surgery that's to remove the cyst you can't get surgery right. to remove the cyst. I can't remove the cyst because they there are so many of them and it can create more problems the only solution that I have been told is to remove my uterus entirely and with that comes not being able to have any children going into early menopause things like that and that's obviously not something that I want to do nor the gynecologist wanted to do so you're way too young for that exactly my biggest thing and that is if I ever want to have children I have to basically have a child <laughs> as soon as possible within the next three years or so Ooh, three um, years that's what she said she said as soon as possible so but you can have one like at like 30 if you really wanted to but well, it's just harder to conceive at that point she basically told me that it's kind of like a waiting game and my endometriosis can get worse and that can change my chances as time goes on but for right now my endometriosis is at a level four of severity um, four levels and level four being the worst yeah i believe so does she give you a level right now like if you're level no one, i haven't gotten a level yet that's basically where i'm at right now i can still have children but it doesn't guarantee me being able to have children in the future all she knows is right now i'm able to and within the next two years three years i'm able to but as far as anything after that there really is no you know certainty. the chances are slim yeah chances so, are quite slim so basically she said have a kid soon or you risk the possibility of not having kids okay so and then that's exactly why this video is a thing and why we titled it the way we did you know are we expecting or are we planning on having a kid honestly we might have to plan to have a kid now um it may not be within like the next month or so it may not be within the next three but it's definitely gonna be sometime soon but if it happens within the next month or so it is what it is well it's not gonna happen because i'm on well you're on control, birth control so. yeah obviously you would have to stop the birth control yeah that's a decision that we would have to talk about you know her and i how long do you have to stop the birth control for and then you can like try having kids i'm not sure but honestly right now the goal is to stop the cyst from persistently like growing mm -hmm. so right now the option to stop birth control is not you not can't stop option. the birth control just yet yeah i can't okay so like if i wanted to have kids now i can't like I need to wait until they figure out what's going on with my body and the severity of it because 
it's still so new. I found out that I had endometriosis three months ago and it feels like a lifetime. As soon as they put me on birth control, I've been in pain. I've been doing a lot of research as to like what I can do, if I should get second opinions. Different doctors say different things. That's the whole reason why I don't know like the severity of my endometriosis and the level is because I need to go to an endometriosis specialist, which has to be soon. I honestly should have been sent you to one of those already. Yeah. But I mean, as soon as they figure out what's going on, once they figure out that point, if whenever that time is, that's probably when we'll try to start having a kid or something like that. But again, it all depends on her body and how it's going down. That's really it, right? Yep. I mean, so again, like this video is titled the way it is and it's because there might be a kid coming sooner rather than later. But again, it goes, it comes down to her body. I feel like a lot of people don't understand my condition and everyone's just like, well, obviously no brainer you need to have kids now if you know you can't have kids it's not in the that future. simple though it's not that it's simple it's not that simple and it's not that easy of a decision for me to make especially when my plan wasn't to have children like so ever in my my brain i never like was like yeah i know exactly when i want to have kids and i never thought that it would be at 23 either yeah so with this whole condition that she had we have to have a kid sooner rather than later but again it has to go with our timing First, you know, if we're not ready for a kid, we're not going to just have a kid because we have to have a kid ASAP. You know, that's not just how it works. Exactly. I want to still be able to have my life together before I bring a child into this world because the last thing I need is to bring a child into this world and they don't get to have the life that they deserve to live as right. far as, you know, growing up in a good place and be able to be spoiled like we want to spoil the kid, like right. stuff like that. Hopefully, by the time the doctors figure your situation out and they say, okay, you can stop the birth control now and try for a kid. If you want by that time when they figure that out we're ready to have a kid um because like we said we're not just gonna have a kid just for the hell of it just right. to have a kid we don't want that we want so much better for our, our future children and especially because we've both been through so much yeah, growing up there's been a lot of like, mistakes that you know our parents made right so we want to not repeat those mistakes we don't want to repeat history we're trying to switch it up a little bit but it's it, it's honestly it has to come down with the timing we're on the same page we understand exactly what we want and as far as timing and we all just hope stuff. you guys understand yeah. Yeah, that so, it's not so black and white you know right. especially in our case i'm not speaking for other people but for us it's not very easy so yeah infinite fam um a kid might be coming soon we don't know how soon but it, it probably could be really soon we don't know but if the timing is right the timing is right so i mean that's really it and again this is just another update as far as janice's uh situation with her endometriosis you know her journey with it she gives you guys updates whenever she can um you actually have another follow-up appointment coming up very soon yeah like so, three four days i think yeah so whenever you know you get information from that i'll We'll make another video and we'll update you guys as far as what's going on there. If it's like important and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but if it's just like, oh no, you're good, keep taking your birth control, we're still right. doing tests or whatever, you know, obviously we're not going to tell you guys that because no brainer, she's still taking her birth control. I mean, yeah, Infinite Fam, that's pretty much it for this video. It was a pretty short one, pretty right to the point, and it was just explaining again what's going on in our life. Life updates is what we like to give you guys because you guys are a part of us, you guys are our family. Honestly, we wouldn't be in this position in life itself. We wouldn't be here without you guys. We appreciate you guys so much and we hope you guys understand all the updates and life events that we're dealing with over here <sighs> you got anything else you want to say no that's pretty much it i mean if you guys have any questions in regards to endometriosis or anything like that you can dm me on my instagram all right infinite fam so with all that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that thumbs up I'd like to give you guys little life updates and events that's happening i guess we'll see you guys in the next video